Well, people, I am stuck in Merritt for the weekend. Things are happening with Big Blue. It started heating up in Alberta on my way west, and I thought I'd had it fixed. Then I was fine until I got to Kamloops and was climbing a mountain, and the heating up started again. And then from there, Renee and I camped out for five days to get through the heat wave. And then I started to merit from Kamloops, driving the Coquihalla Highway over the mountain pass. Heating up, I had to stop twice in a, I think it was a 47 minute drive or something, but I had to stop twice for 15 or 20 minutes to cool off the, the motor. Then when I got to Merritt, I decided to call BCAA and get towed to the West Coast. That towing was supposed to happen today and it got cancelled because the services like tow trucks and anything to that of that nature, cops, um, fire trucks are all reserved or, and on call for wildfires it's really really bad right now really bad like a lot of evacuations so i got a phone call this morning about an hour before they were supposed to arrive saying they can't take me today because of that and they said hopefully monday or tuesday they'll be able to spare a tow truck to take me to the ferry my goodness I am still driving Big Blue. I just have to watch the heat gauge and not drive up big mountains. <laughs> it's just what I'm doing. So twiddling, twiddling around Merritt for the weekend and I just came across by accident a farmer's market. So that's where we're going now. All right, let's go to that market. Still haven't got my door handle fixed. We'll see when that happens. Now that I might be having some huge repairs on Big Blue. Oh, do I have the keys? Oops, the keys are still in the ignition. Good thing I caught that one. Let's try that again. Keys in hand, close the door. Bread. Some sugar snap peas. Some lovely kohlrabi. Some beautiful tomatoes, a beautiful cucumber. All food I can eat without cooking. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to visit the outhouse. Man, I sure can smell that wildfire smoke in my van when I come in when I've been out for a while. Oh, it's all my fabrics and everything. It's just permeated everything. Whoa, that's the sun. And it's even brighter the camera well I have been hanging out in Merritt BC now for Friday Saturday Sunday well three days and when I got here I went to a radiator place and he tested the radiator 
and found on his little device that there were gas fumes in my radiator fluid, which indicates motor trouble, possibly head gasket. So I called the BCAA and arranged for them to pick me up on Saturday morning. That was Friday that I arrived here in Merritt. So Saturday morning I had arranged to pick them for them to pick me up, the local um, tow truck, and um, to take me to Tawasson to the ferry. I was still driving Big Blue. It um, was okay generally if I was on flattish land. It was just the uphill mountain uphills that did it in. Anyway since there's so many wildfires around here, I got a phone call on Monday morning. No, Saturday morning. <laughs> Getting my story mixed up. Saturday morning, they were going to pick me up between 8 and 9 o'clock. But I got a phone call about 8 o'clock saying that all tow trucks and fire trucks and police and everything, buddy, were on call to help with forest fires. So, no go. So they um, said Monday or Tuesday possibly I will get onto that tow truck and give me a ride. It's about a five and a half hour drive from where I am to where I want to go. There's a fly in here. Anyway, this afternoon I phoned them again. To, this afternoon being Sunday. Is it Sunday? I'm losing track. So Sunday... I called them again and they said I was on schedule, on the schedule to leave at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, Monday morning. So at this point, it's still Sunday right now as I'm recording this and I'm crossing my fingers that I am able to get going. Not completely holding my breath, but I am hopeful at this point. Yesterday on Saturday, there was a little bit of a reprieve from the smoke. So most of the day it was pretty good. It was, uh, I could breathe easily and my lungs weren't hurting. But by four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon, man, the smoke hit. Within half an hour, it was bad. My lung, and it's been bad since then. This is Sunday at, I don't know, three o'clock, no, four o'clock in the afternoon. It's been bad for a full 24 hours again. Just barely see them. So I'm holed up in my van and have a little bits of things open and fans on just to move the air a little bit, but hardly anything open because it gets so stuffy. Thank goodness it's not super, super hot here in Merritt where it could be extremely hot. We've had cooler days while I was here. Thank goodness for that. So I've been holed up in here. Um, <laughs> editing this video that you're watching right now. No, no, pardon me. Editing the video that you just saw previous. <laughs> this, edio, ed, this video will be edited. This video... This video will be edited for my next one. <sighs> yeah. So it's pretty stuffy in here without fresh air. But there isn't any fresh air outside. So I can't really open up the whole southern BC and going into the north. Probably central BC. I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to central because I'm in the south part of BC. And that's where my concentration is. Lots of echo. Um, I was going to say excavations. <laughs> See, my brain isn't working. Now I remember what I was going to say. I, while I've been here these days, hanging out, waiting, my thoughts have been mainly on getting Big Blue back to Vancouver Island. I haven't let myself go there about what it means to fix Big Blue. 
I've told myself I will be concerned about that when I get there and I talk to a mechanic who can thoroughly check it out. Yeah, I just can't be worried about that until the time comes to be actually doing something about it. But I do hope for the best. Big Blue, you please be okay. Oh, yes. Put lots of healing, healing light, why not? <laughs> Around my van, please. Oh boy. There's the sun. There's Big Blue. I'm waiting this morning for my tow truck to take me to the west coast. Haven't heard that they're not coming, so that's good news. I just woke up. Let's get out of bed. We are at a brake check and he has to check brakes on the truck of course but he checks all the um, straps and whatnot that are holding big blue on. Well, I am back on the west coast. I still have to get over on the ferry, which I will get in the lineup early tomorrow morning, very early. But I am treating myself to some very delicious fish and chips. And I am so happy to be back on the west coast. I'll be going over to the island tomorrow morning, get in the ferry lineup very, very early. And I'll cross my fingers, I'll actually get on a ferry tomorrow. And then make my way to my home base. Big Blue will be okay. She's good on flatter land. And then sometime in the next couple days, do a mechanic. See what's going on with the motor or whatever it is. Cross my fingers, it won't be a bad, bad thing or cost me an arm and a leg.